Dragon Ball Super Episode 51 Review The title of the episode is Feelings That Transcend Time, Trunks and Mind. So we learned two things in this episode. One, Trunks is a pedophile, and Dragon Ball Super has a sense of continuity and consistency. This episode, in my opinion, was probably my least favorite out of the New York. I'm sorry, but that's just my personal take. I didn't like it. I felt like it was kind of slow, and things like the Kai footage bothered me. I didn't like how they had Kai footage, and then new animation. Kai footage, new animation. That was stupid, alright? They're all in flashback form, and I especially didn't like that you're going back to old animated scenes and giving Trump blue hair when they reanimate him. So they know about their mistake, and they're just choosing not to fix it. Maybe they're doing it because they want to make Kid Trunk grow up, and that they're afraid that we won't be able to tell the difference between future Trunks and Kid Trunks if they're the same height. I think that's stupid, I'm sorry. You could give future Trunks and Kid Trunks different types of clothes. They act- One, they're, they're, they're very, very different characters. So you should be able to figure it out. And two, you can get them different clothes. Trunk has a trunk to carry around his sword all the time. That would be how we differentiate them. But uh, uh, whatever. Um, we do learn a lot about. We have Trunk holding my tan, and they're making like lovey dovey eyes. It's really weird. I got uncomfortable. That made me uncomfortable personally watching that. Yeah, I felt like I was like, watching them like Yuri. Or, no, not Yuri. What that? What is the term? The, John, the Japanese genre term, like, yeah, we Yuri, for when the little, it's like the two little kids, it's like, you know, only two little girls. I feel like I was watching something like that. It looked really weird, because Trunks is looking at Mai, like, like he's in love with her, and she's like, ten, physically. I mean, I understand she's like, fifty mentally. You know what, I have a question for you guys in the comment section down below. Is it okay to fuck Mai? Even though she looks, even though she, the, is it okay to fuck my because she has the body of a 10 year old but the mind of a 15 year old? Is it okay to fuck her? Tell me in the comments. I mean, I'm not really sure. But no, but I mean, no, I don't want to fuck her, but I'm just saying, like, is this whole thing with Trump okay? I don't think it is. It's like, really weird and pedophile y. And I, I didn't like that. I mean, this, this episode, it, and there was some good stuff. Like, I did like. That we got to find out at the time it seemed that they brought back an old concept. That's something Dragon Ball doesn't do a lot. And I feel like that really hurts the theory. They brought it back an old concept. They made it interesting. That was good on them. It was a sense of continuity and consistency. They brought back an old plot point. Good for you, Super. You're doing what every other story in history has done. You're doing what story, you're doing something that every story to do. You're talking about things that already happened in the past. No, but there was a line by Beerus and Week where they talk about his time ring and talking about how his key, last key, is familiar. Now, I'm not going to go into what that means because of spoilers. However, you, you go check out Geekdom or, you know, just go check, go check out Geekdom 101. Or my friend Anime Export, who link is in down below. Go check them out. They made videos about the titles and all of that. They made videos about they both made videos about that. Go check one of them out and you'll see a video which will tell you what, what that's talking about. I didn't do a video on it, but whatever. But yeah, I wanna spoil it. They like, they do mention that Black King is familiar. And yeah, that's pretty much the meat of the episode. The my stuff, the mirror stuff, we do see a little bit with black, where we see like flashes of parts of Goku, like Goku Gi. That is all symbolic, and it's just saying that he's mastering Goku fighting style. He comments this fighting style fits my new body very well. So yeah, I'm not to rate this episode, I give it like a 7 out of 10. I mean, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good, it was meh. It was, it wasn't bad, it wasn't good, it was kind of just like, it was like, it would, it was pretty much a transition chapter. It was, it was like a transition chapter in One Piece, besides you, I didn't get hyped while watching it. <laughs> it was like a not, it was, it would be like a non-hyped up transition chapter in One Piece. It was a transition episode, 
transitioning into the next, you know, to the next item, to the next part of the story. It was interesting. We didn't get to see both of parents. Both of mom still has an age. I don't think that woman is like a robot or something, which is weird. She probably has like a metal pussy or something like that. <laughs> but okay, I'm talking about both of mom's a pussy. So I'm gonna end the review here. I rated a 7 out of 10. If you liked the review, please subscribe and like the video. Tell me your thoughts on the episode in the comment section down below. And remember guys, above all else, to have a great day. This is One Face Nation. Signing out my review of Bleach Chapter 681 should be out around noon, alright? That should be going up around 8 in the morning, and the Bleach review should be up around noon. So, yeah, see you guys in the Bleach review.